In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Facebook Pixel through Google Tag Manager. It's very, very easy to do, and it's incredibly important because without the Facebook Pixel on your website or in your website's code, you will not be able to do any sort of remarketing, any sort of custom audience building, anything that Facebook ads is really powerful for. So even if you're not currently running traffic, I suggest you just dump this pixel in here because it's very easy to do. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come into your ad account in Facebook, you're gonna come up here to tools, you're gonna click on pixels. Now, Facebook recently updated uh, from this conversion tracking pixel to the Facebook pixel. We are only going to talk about the Facebook pixel or the new Facebook pixel as people are calling it. This conversion tracking is being sunset, so do not even waste your time putting this on. The Facebook pixel allows for you to manage it. It's almost like their version, Facebook's version of Tag Manager. It allows you to manage a number of things from just one piece of code. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to Actions and you're gonna go to View Pixel Code. Now this right here, this is your Facebook Pixel. Now you can see down here, these are different conversion trackings. I'm not gonna talk about these in this video, but I will show you how to add these. You do this through Google Tag Manager. So if you wanted to track Add to Carts, if you wanted to track sales and you wanted it to, get, to communicate, to your Facebook ads so you can see which ads are driving sales or carts or newsletters or leads. You can add a simple line of code to your tag manager. I'm gonna show you that in another video, but for now, we need to get this base pixel installed on your website. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here, you're gonna select all and you're gonna copy it. Now I'm gonna jump over to Google Tag Manager and under the tag section, I'm just gonna click new. Now, Tag Manager does not have a, uh, a product here for it yet. I'm sure it will be soon. So we're just gonna go to custom HTML tag and you're just gonna paste the pixel code in there. That's all you wanna do. Now I like to call this up here too. Uh, I just like to call this Facebook pixel so we know. Uh, got the custom HTML tag in here. Click continue. We're just gonna leave this as it is. Click continue again. We wanna fire this on all pages because this pay this is the base pixel. It's almost like uh, again, Facebook's version of GTM or analytics, we want it on all pages. So we're just gonna click create tag. Now I'm gonna come up here and click publish. Publish now, and then click done. I don't like to use the debugger. Now I'm just gonna come up here to the site that I put it on. I'm gonna hard refresh it. And there is a plugin here. It is called Facebook Pixel Helper. It's a plugin, I'll leave you the, uh, the, the I can't talk today, the Chrome URL in here. And all you're gonna do is click it and it's gonna tell you that it's successfully loaded and that's that. We now have a Facebook pixel on our website and we are ready to set up custom audiences. We're ready to do some retargeting. We're really ready to use Facebook to all of, all of the glory. So that was it, very easy to do. That's how you set up the new Facebook pixel through Google Tag Manager. I will see you guys in the next video.